Um, in this example, we need to look at um, kind of going backwards, sort of. You know, remember in the last example we put together for our set builder notation, and it looked something a little bit like this. It had you know three parts. We talked about the X's that were in between something. Well, that is technically called a compound inequality when we have you know more than one inequality put together in one statement. Now here we're starting out with this statement so we need to get it into a little bit better form first. If you'll remember um, the things that we've we've looked at before like especially in our last example we had something that said oops that's not correct something that said the set of all x is such that x was uh, between negative 2 and 3 and in everything that we've done so far we always had an X in the middle of all of these things. This is not that way. Here we have more than just X in the center. So we need to get it to where it looks a little bit closer to this form. Now we're going to use regular plain old um, solving rules in order to get this X alone in the center. Remember, you're always isolating the variable, you're moving things away from it by always doing the opposite. The only difference here is now instead of only having you know two sides of an equation like we normally do, here we actually have like three sides. So let's focus in on this 5x plus 2. If I want to get x alone, that means that I need to get rid of this plus 2 first. So the opposite of adding 2 would be to subtract 2. It's just exactly like what we would do normally. The only difference here is now we have to do it to all three parts rather than just both sides. So this will cancel out our 2 and now we'd have negative 5 is less than or equal to 5x which is less than 15. Now here again we want x alone in the center. We don't want 5x. So rather than multiply by 5, the opposite of that would be to divide everything by 5. So now on the left we'd have negative 1 is less than or equal to x is less than 15 divided by 5 would be 3. This is our new compound inequality. Now let's graph that on a number line so that we can see what it looks like. Um, let's see if here's 0 and this is negative 1 and 3 would be here. We're talking about all of the x's between negative 1 and 3. So I'm looking at all of the x's here in the center of these things. Because we have equality on the left that means we're going to use a bracket and we do not have equality on the right so we'll use a parenthesis. Now this will help us write it in interval notation because our interval notation then would be bracket negative 1 all the way up to 3 with a parenthesis. And if we wanted to write it in set builder notation it would be the set of all x's such that negative 1 is less than or equal to x is less than 3. When we solve this it actually is in very nice set builder notation already we just need to finish it out. So depending on where how they ask you for your answer whether they want it graphed, written in interval notation, or written in set builder notation you can do that.